So it's Sunday. It's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all you uh, fathers out there. Uh, single mothers need not apply. <laughs> yeah, we rode last Saturday. Not very far. I think we did about 30 miles. Look at my grass, guys. Ugh. We went to a party that we were invited to that was seven miles away. And we ended up finding some pretty cool roads after the fact. Yeah, our grandson is in there asleep. And, uh, man, when we go on a ride, he loves to come outside and uh, give us some loves, you know, before we and take watch, off. And watch us right away. And watch us right away. Well, he's still asleep, and I have a feeling, I have a feeling that uh, us starting our bikes back there <laughs> uh, would have woken him up. And, buddy, if we rode off without letting him say goodbye, he's going to be pissed. And uh, our 18-year-old son is watching him, so he has to deal with it. They better him than me, really. <laughs> no, I feel bad for him because, you know, it's little things like that that the little guy loves, you know. No, we haven't ridden all week. You know, I was, um, in case you guys haven't caught on, I don't work at the dealership anymore. That was short-lived, a little over two months. I've been applying for some positions at a particular spot for, gosh, months and months, and I had... Know, several interviews throughout the course of these months and it felt like something was going to come through and it never did that's why i took the job at the harley shop and then finally one day man like right the day after my birthday they're like hey congratulations you win you win a job so uh i promptly uh resigned from harley i did not give a notice i anyway i used to be the kind of person that always gave a notice you know i felt bad and I kind of felt bad this time, but we're kind of in an age, especially since COVID, I think when employers really showed you how valuable you were to them, that uh, I'm looking out for me, sorry. You know, when I got fired from that property management job back in January, 2023, you know, they didn't give me no two week notice, you know what I'm saying? So I, it's like, I'm, I'm bettering my life, bye. But uh, anyway, I said all that to say that I was riding a lot of days to work. And we had Wednesday night bike nights, which wasn't a long ride. But it was a ride that the two of us would do together at least once a week. And uh, now that I have this job, it's a, a couple miles away from that. It ain't far. It's not even worth starting to bike up for, honestly. And, and two, I have to dress nice. Can you imagine your old uncle dressed nice? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, matching and... Matching, yeah. <laughs> she can't believe that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't want to, I don't know. I've had, I used to work at a bank years ago, back when I owned my Sportster, and that was like my primary mode of transportation. And uh, sometimes I would ride that thing to work, and uh, my pants would burn up exhaust. So I don't want to risk that, you know what I'm saying? Um, and our grandson started football last week, so we already missed a bike night. We're probably going to miss bike nights uh, all the way through July. You know, and yesterday, uh, this video is probably going to come out after the car rebuild on the Dyna. You know, yesterday I spent most of the day messing with that, and then we did a little family night. So, yeah, today, today we're going to go ride, and I don't know, we've just kind of been dicking around. It's already 2.30. Hey, I wonder how many horsepower that thing's got. You know what I heard? I heard horses have like 7 to 14 horsepower. Uh, Bull Mama is not impressed by that little statistic. <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. Oh, this is the slowest joust ever. Holy shit, man. <laughs> anyway, so what are we doing today? Uh, besides just kind of talking nonsense. Uh, we're going to head up to our spot again. On the video where I got the oil shit done, man, anyway... Uh, on the Dyna, I say done with an asterisk next to it. The old Glenwood Tavern up here and the taco truck was there that day. So we had tacos and beer. And uh, I, I'm going to say that every weekend since we discovered that thing existed, we've been up here. So uh, we're going to do a little bit more of a ride today, I think. I think. Now, who knows what happens when we get up here and get settled in. But uh, we're definitely going to go have some tacos. The yard still needs to be cut, but I can't. I actually ordered, I, you know, I... Priorities, right? I ordered uh, my carburetor rebuild kit um, and a uh, a big preventative maintenance kit for my lawnmower. 
and they both came in at the same time. Knowing that my yard needs to be cut like every week in the summer in Florida, surely I would have fixed that before I worked on the motorcycle, right? I almost said fuck it to riding today and work on that this afternoon, but I don't know. I want some two-wheel therapy, you know what I'm saying? I feel like with this new job, the new job, by the way, Monday through Friday, holidays off, great benefit, great, absolutely great benefits, great retirement plan, uh, PTO policy is very generous. Uh, I am in the process of selling my pressure washing equipment. So basically the video that I made like two months ago, two months ago about what I'm doing now, throw in the trash. <laughs> so, uh, but it had good views. So I'm going to leave it up. Evil, evil YouTubers doing their thing. Now we fixed all the oil problems, right? Right. Oh. <laughs> Yesterday, I rebuilt the carburetor, and I, I went out and uh, did a little test, not test run, a warm-up run, just so I could get back and get the uh, carburetor settings right while the engine was warm. There we go, taco stand is up. Here's this other Mexican place is opening up here, and uh, it's like turf wars here with the taco shops. I'm going to pull around back, baby. So I told you the oil light wasn't working, and I ordered an oil pressure gauge, and I actually returned that oil pressure gauge this week because I uh, learned that the switch was bad and then um, put the new switch on. Now I have an oil pressure light, but it's always on. <laughs> Not how it's supposed to work. Uh, it was actually, while the engine was cool, it was turning off at higher RPMs. And, uh, yeah, so I, I stopped doing the uh, carburetor video because... I don't want to keep it running while the oil light's on, basically, is what I'm saying. Yeah, we're working on that now, too, so always something. So I ordered another gauge, even though I returned one. <laughs> you come up here on a Sunday, it's uh, open jam, but they have a band up there. You can go up there and sing. And I'm trying to get uh, Bo Mama to go sing, but she ain't having none of it. Lots of old classics they do up here. Here's the Glenwood. Yeah. Love this place. All right, there, uh, a trip to the Glenwood on a Sunday afternoon wouldn't be the same without getting the uh, best tacos in the area. If you are in the area or come through on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, you have to come by the old Glenwood Tavern. Huh? And uh, if the taco truck is still here, I guess there's some disputes going on with the people who rented the place next door. Get some tacos here. Since we moved from Arizona, these are the best, best tacos that we have found. I think that's the shortest visit we've ever had here. I think so too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna head up, uh, head up Highway 17. I put, I put this place called Renegades on the river. Uh, we've never been up to this spot. It's 31 miles away from here, which on this uh, mostly two-lane highway, it says it's going to take about 50 minutes, so we'll see. Stupid. <laughs> you started it. I know. I'm always starting shit with you. Yeah, so back to the diner, and we're going to have some uh, upcoming videos, obviously, on that. Um, so I was so proud of myself for... Uh, rebuilding that carburetor and so far everything that i've done I, I, I wrote it i wrote it today and it seems fine i do need to make some adjustments but that oil light you know i had no oil light before so i put the new switch in uh what two days ago yesterday yesterday i did i turned the key on i saw i had an oil light while well, i was so excited i'm like oh yeah it worked wow ah. then i get out and ride it today and uh yeah, didn't the oil light didn't want to go off until it was a higher RPM. And then once the bike got warm, it just stayed on. So, uh, just to play it safe, I talked to Shelby. You know, he and I texted a little bit. Uh, I actually called him yesterday, talked to him too. I shouldn't have returned that oil pressure gauge because I just turned around and ordered another one today. Uh, so I want to know. I don't believe it because I did take the, uh, so we called it a witch's hat. It's actually called a tappet tap it screen and uh, the little plug that goes on there because I've taken that off and I've seen oil come out of it I don't believe that there's low oil pressure so I'm gonna put a gauge on the gauge will tell me if I have oil pressure or not always one thing man and then I've, I check I check the oil so much 
And that damn oil dipstick is in there so weird. But every time I pull it out, it drips, you know. So I, I checked it a bunch while I was making sure the oil level was fine because it wasn't. I under It was underfilled to put in it. And I put too much in and I had to use a saran to take some out. So that created an oil puddle underneath the dyna, which I know it's from checking it. I know it's from checking it. But, you know, you walk out, you see a little little oil puddle under the bike. You're like, Jesus fucking Christ, what's next? Anyway, how you like the Dyna, baby? Mine? Love it. The yellow one. <laughs> it reminds me of that. Uh, I had a 1990 El Dorado, the Cadillac. Uh-huh. It's like it runs fine, but it don't. I feel like they just threw a fresh coat of paint on it to make it look good, just to cover up all the shit that's wrong with that bike. Well, yeah, and the thing is, like, mechanically, it feels, it's sound. It's mechanically sound. Like, where is this oil coming from? Not coming from, but anyway. Now, we're going to put that gauge on it. It's supposed to be here on Wednesday. I was going to scratch my curiosity itch and go to Harbor Freight and pick up an oil gauge or a, a testing gauge, but they don't have the right threads. And it was going to take just as long to order a test gauge as it was just to get a gauge. Um, I guess that, that hole is a half inch dash 20 thread. And I, I can't find that without ordering one. So I will just pay for the gauge to get here. Guys like this best? Huh? I know you like it. You guys saw my commercial, my ad that I made, like a two and a half minute ad for first MFG. I like this best. I, I, at first I wasn't sure because it is shorter than best that I'm used to. Uh, but now that I'm riding more in it, because it doesn't go down as far, it doesn't bunch up. So if you want a vest like this one or shit, anything off of their website at all, jackets, vests, gloves, pants, shirts, whatever, hats, use my code UNCLEBOGATOR at checkout. 25% off. That's a, that's a big discount. I mean, yeah, I'm trying to sell you something. I am. But honestly, like all the companies that I've done things for, they offer like 10% or five or 15% off. 25% off is pretty big. Baby, would you agree that 25% off is pretty big? It's pretty big, yes. You know what else is pretty big? <laughs> uh, my head. All right, see so you guys down the road. Now this is the red carpet treatment right here. A lot of places have bike only parking, but not covered bike parking uh it took a little bit to get up here but bo mama and i both think that uh we're gonna dig this place you guys have seen the river's edge over in tampa quite a bit whether it's been me and the boys or shade tree and the boys this is similar except instead of being on the alafaya river we're on the saint john's river so this is the bar you come to when you're loading up your boat and you want to get a shit face before you get out there around all the other shit face boaters yeah, so we're used to ordering buckets, and uh, everywhere in the land, there are five beers per bucket, and this one's six. So Bo Mama's got a lot of drinking to do uh, to make this thing work. So as much as this place reminds me of the River's Edge, I'm going to say that this one's a little bit more high class. They're both, they're both next to Trailer Park. This is like if the River's Edge could pay their rent. You know what I mean? This is like, this is like River's Edge if they had health and dental insurance. Okay, this is like, this is grown up River's Edge. This is really nice, actually. Man, if you ain't singing, proud to be an American, standing in front of an American flag at a backcountry Florida bar, I don't even know what the hell you're doing with your life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hell yeah, baby. We already had Toby Keith. We had a little Lee Greenwood. You know what I'm saying? We got, I feel like we got to come up here like on a Saturday or something, because I definitely don't want to be out too late tonight. I'm trying to be responsible. All right, fam, uh, that's gonna wrap this video up. I did not intend for this video to take two weeks to come out, or three weeks, or however long since I recorded, but uh, man, once again, your old uncle's been down for the count all week long. Uh, a week ago today, I sat down to edit this video, got hit with a fever, and um, you can hear my voice is uh, trying to come back from that. But yeah, we got some upcoming work to do on the Dyna, uh, more, than, more than I bargained for, I think. Uh, uh, I'm definitely going to look at replacing the oil pump and uh, since I had to run it for about five six miles uh, without any oil pressure I may have to even do some top end work never done that kind of stuff before but 
hey, we'll see. I've already got another video set to start editing soon where I do kind of dig into the uh, Dyna a little bit so you can at least see where I'm at with the process. I haven't made any progress since that. That was like a week and a half ago. Yes, I appreciate you coming along for this video and all videos. And until next time, see you later.